Camera, man. <laughs> Ecosystem with this camera, man. He everywhere. This dude is everywhere, yeah, man. That's what it is, man. Yeah, How you doing? But you know this though right here. Okay. Representing Fonte, representing the Central Region. Mm -hmm. I know my team, baby. It ain't just Ghana. Fonte, baby, Central Region all day. Yeah, 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 work, yeah. I just, I just go here. I got a message. Oh, wow, 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 wow. So I'm like, let me just come in. So, what? Tell us what really happened here today. Man, you just watched 112 Black Americans, Jamaicans, Barbados, Caribbean, Afro Brazilians come and get dual citizenship in Ghana. And they now citizens of the Republic of Ghana. Very beautiful program. Beautiful time, man. That's what just happened. Ceremony. Whoa. So right now we're gonna say that you're officially, man. Like, like it's gonna be hard to deport me, baby. Yeah. Hard to start from silver. See, they don't talk like them. I don't talk like them other people on Echo Channel, baby. Yeah. They know it is. Steve Copley all day, baby. Now it's gonna be hard to deport. Straight. Straight. Yeah, for sure. Appreciate well, you, Echo. Well, Good dudes, man. Yeah. You, man. Echo, Echo, Echo City. A Merry Christmas to all of you. Many happy returns to all of us. Thank you very much for checking on my YouTube channel. Today I'm coming your way with a beautiful news. Now, before 2023, there are a lot of good things happening here in Ghana, in the motherland. Yes, uh, two days ago, about 126 brothers and sisters from the Caribbean, from the Americas, from the UK, from uh, Canada, wherever, they had their Ghanaian citizenship. That is so beautiful. I know you'll be clapping as well. Hey, if you're watching this video and you were part of that lucky 26, 126 people, just put it up as a comment. Share your feeling, you know, with getting your Ghanaian citizenship. Now, before one is given a Ghanaian citizenship, you either must be born here in Ghana or you must be married to a Ghanaian or you must be adopted by a Ghanaian and the others yes they are the ones that comes into play but if you're a foreigner right and then you want to acquire the Ghanaian citizenship one of the things that you have to meet is you have to be resident here for five years continuously you may be going and coming but most of your time must be here in Ghana yes so that is one thing you have to you know do or you have to meet in order to get your Ghanaian citizenship but aside that the Ministry of Interior may also want to look into a certain situation and say that okay this number of people really need uh, or they meet the requirements to gain or to acquire the uh, Ghanaian citizenship so, so it was a beautiful event that happened two days ago where brothers and sisters had their Ghanaian citizenship. And I was lucky to have met few brothers and sisters that I know. Uh, I met Diallo. I know you know Diallo. Diallo plays an important role when it comes to the African-American community here in Ghana. I met Steve Cockley. Yes, Steve Cockley is a brother who is living in my region, the yes, central region of Ghana. And he's staying in Asebu. I know most of you may have heard of the Asebu project, but you thought it now. It wasn't really uh, something that was going on. So he's built his house there and that is where he does his things and i also met ivy prosper yes i've been watching ivy's videos on youtube and i'll be longing to meet her so she was very tall you know when i met her I was like oh you're really tall and we've been talking about that that a lot of times she meets certain people and they tell her that like, she's pretty tall yes so i met ivy we had a conversation and it was fun watch this video put up a comment and let me know what you also think about these brothers and sisters Acquiring the Ghanaian citizenship. Here today. Where they, where they do, 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 do. <laughs> shooters. Yeah. Where are my shooters at? <laughs> so tell us what happened. Northwest DC yes, in the sir. building. Yes, Southeast DC in the building. Northeast, Southwest. Straight out of Trenton, New Jersey. I'm here in Ghana. Just got my citizenship. Um, it's been a wait, you know what I'm saying? But I'm good. Got the citizenship. It's locked in. You know, my brother DC, Steve right here. Chi -town DC, DC, we in the building. Chi Town in the building. We let y'all know what it is. That's this all dude, you know. Man, he we too just, cool now, we, man. He <laughs> big time now. I, I, I'm cool. I've been cool, though. I've no, been cool. That cool. On the low. You cool, cool. On the low. You're on the low. I've been cool. You cool, cool. You too cool. You know what it is. It's hard to catch him, man. It's hard to catch him. It's definitely hard to catch him. But you know what it is. When we do catch up, it's always up. We shouldn't be that accessible anyway. You got to watch out. Exactly. Got to protect the energy, too. Yeah, And. If you got that much time, you need more work to do. We got work to do. Mm, I got work to do. <laughs> <laughs> but somebody, somebody would like to ask, what was the process of 
it'll get in the. That's a longer. Situation. That's more time than we got. <laughs> yeah. Ain't no process. You pray. Okay. That's what it is. <laughs> you have to pray. You pray. That's what it is. All right, straight. Hey. Yeah, bro, you done left me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, how, how are you? I'm good, you? Excellent. Yeah, you're part of the people who had a... Correct. Oh, congratulations, man. Thank you, sir. You always show up at the right time. <laughs> yeah. You always find your way to the event. <laughs> so how uh, how is it going so far? How did the event go? How was the life for you? Know, it was worth the wait. It was really worth the wait, man. Um, three years of waiting. It was frustrating at times. Mm -hmm. But today, more than made up for all of that. I'm thankful to the president and the government of Ghana. An opportunity to be here is a thing. It's a dream come true for me. Yeah. So I'm very happy. My wife is happy. Yeah. You know, my family is very happy. Yeah. Yeah. And so now you're officially gone in. I'm going in. Yeah. <laughs> now, if you ask me, anybody ask me if I'm going to get in, I say yes. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to get in. Any questions? No more. <laughs> that walk, and I thought, this, didn't this person have their citizenship already all this time? <laughs> Hey, how, how are you? I'm good, you? Hey, we finally met. <laughs> yes. So you're making a video call, um, having an interview, so I don't want to bother you. Yeah. It's interesting when you meet people that you've watched online. People say this to me all the time. Mm -hmm. To me, they say, they watch my YouTube videos, mm -hmm. and they meet me, and they're like, you're taller than I expected. Yes, I, was I didn't know you that. were so tall. You're very tall. Let me see then I, I always say to people when they say that, you're very short. <laughs> you're going to sound very tall. I'm say you're very short. Yeah, I'm very short and you're very tall. <laughs> you, you, I know you, you, you have a route from here, but I didn't know you have... I'm you know, I was born in Ghana. Uh, I was born in Tema. Mm. Tema. Yes. Ekaki. Ekaki. It's me country, but Fante, please don't give me any Fante. The Fante will just confuse me. Yeah, but I've been watching your video. You're doing great. Guys. Thank you. Yeah. Sometimes I, I was even going to text you today on Instagram and ask if you're going to be here. But I got the message late. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to come, but I didn't want. I wanted to come, so I wanted to text you if you're here. Then I will come. And I go here, and then you yeah, just. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Finally, yes. I tell people. People keep sending uh, comments on my land video. Mm -hmm. uh, the Asebu land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're constantly. You put me on the map. They're constantly asking about land. They yeah. come to that old video yeah. that I did with Kwame, mm -hmm. and I always tell them. Go to Iko. <laughs> Iko is in in that area, yeah. and he checks up on it because mm -hmm. you've gone a couple of times yeah. and and yeah. checked up on the status of where things yeah. are now. So yeah. you're a good resource yeah. for that information because you're there. Yeah. You're you're putting Cape Coast on the map. Oh, thank you. I'm doing my best. Because people always think of Cape Coast and they only think about the slave one. Mm -hmm. But there's more, right? Yeah. That is that is one thing I'm also trying to you know introduce and talk less mm -hmm. about the slave 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 stuff you know mm -hmm. because people who want to come to cape coast only want to come because of the dungeons and then they leave yeah and then and then they leave they yeah. leave on that same day mm -hmm. but we need to have something that will retain keep, keep, keep them there you know for like a day or two uh, you, have a, you have a nice beach in cape coast yeah oh. so um, i'm looking at promoting more of that mm -hmm. yeah because we like beaches maybe like maybe, maybe we would have to do it together Come get some ideas from you because you're already doing your thing. Like, I see you, I see you like, uh, I'm hungry from you, are, you are what am I? Female, what am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> so I'm a female, what am I? Yeah, yeah.